What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It is January 5th. Uh, first video that we are going to make this year. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this one. But uh, if you ever wondered on how to be successful and not being successful. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? If you ever wondered on how to be successful and not being successful, I got you in this video. Stay tuned. Look, I just flipped the switch. So without further ado, let's just hop into the video. So this is just gonna be a list of things that'll help you to not be successful in the barbershop. First off, um, show up late. Show up late to work. Yeah, that, that'll that'll do it for you. Um, don't stay late. Don't don't go uh, above and beyond past the hours of operation. Uh, leave home early. Take long lunch breaks. You gotta take long lunch breaks. Three hours, you know, four hours. Um, show up to the shop midway, you know, through, through the shift. Uh, don't take walk-ins. Um, if you have time, don't squeeze anybody in. Don't, 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 don't do that. Don't, don't try to build your clientele. Um, don't promote. Don't use social media to the best of your advantage. You know, don't, don't post pictures of your haircuts. Um, don't tell people that you're a barber. Basically, um, leave your profile on private. You know, that way no one can see your work. If you are posting, you don't want that to happen because then you're going to get clients. Um, don't download a uh, a booking app. You know, don't don't get something that's going to help you schedule your appointments and keep you organized. You know that. Uh, let's see what else. What else is there? Be rude to your clients. Don't greet them when they come in the door. Um, Walk-ins. Don't greet those guys. You know, don't don't greet the clients as they come in. You know, even if they're not yours. Um, don't pass out business cards. Just make sure that nobody knows you're a barber. Basically, so. Um, other things that you can do are uh, not detail your haircuts. Um, when a client shows you a haircut, do the exact opposite of what they're asking for. Um, don't invest in yourself. You know, don't buy new clippers. Keep using those ones. You know, the trimmers with the the, the broken teeth. You know, look like they've been doing meth for a little bit. Uh, the ones with the chip blades. Keep those ones. You know, don't don't invest in yourself. Don't buy new clippers. Um, Keep showing up to your appointments late. You know, uh, make sure that you're never on time for your appointments. You know, always keep the client waiting. You know, uh, always keep them on their toes, guessing what what you're gonna do next. Um, and by by them by you always doing that though, they will you know get to a point where they realize that you know you're always gonna be late. So that that's the goal because you do not want to build a clientele. Your your goal is to not be successful. Um, don't listen to criticism. Uh, get offended when somebody tries to uh, correct you. Um, get in your feelings every time somebody has something uh, to constructively say about you know your business or or your haircuts. Be extremely comfortable with where you're at. Don't don't become uncomfortable. Make sure that you are in this little cozy spot where you know there's no room to expand, no room to grow. That you're just right there in a little comfortable spot. You know that that's the that's a perfect way to not be successful uh, in the barber industry. Um, don't watch haircut tutorials. Um, don't watch any YouTube videos about barbering. You know don't don't expand your knowledge uh, in the industry at all. Just be you know uh, content and con comfortable with where you're at, where your knowledge is at. Um, regardless if you can do sheer work or you know sheer cuts, if you can you know um, properly layer hair. Um, you know, none of that matters, you know, if you don't want to build your clientele. So if you don't want to be successful, you don't want to build your clientele, stop trying to learn more. Don't, don't do that. People who, you know, people who watch hair tutorials and stuff like that, that's lame. You know, you, you don't want to be doing that stuff, you know. Who wants to be doing work after they get out of work, you know what I mean? So if you don't want to be successful, <laughs> definitely, you know, steer away from the uh, extra uh, education and stuff like that. Um, don't network with other barbers, you know, um, basically, you know, just try to stay away from barbering as much as you can outside of the barbershop. You know, that's, that's the goal right there to not, to not be successful. You know, um, another way to be successful and not being successful is, uh, rely on the business owner or the shop owner to promote for you. Rely on, rely on the shop clients, you know, and it, if you do that, I, I guarantee you won't build clientele that way either. Basically, overall, just do the bare minimum that you could possibly do to stay employed by the shop owner um, and do nothing more than that. 
you know, just make sure that you got a place to pay rent. Uh, make sure that you just have a place to pay to be there and not really make any money from it. So but that about wraps it up for, you know, all the ways to be successful and not being successful. Now, if you made it all the way through this video, this is just me being super sarcastic. So hopefully you do none of these things I just said and uh, just do the direct opposite of what I just said because you want to be successful. You want to build clientele. Uh, but I just had to get a funny way out there of uh, just getting something said that, you know, some people need to hear. You know, a lot of people get comfortable. A lot of people get, you know, uh, cozy in this little spot or they're not growing anymore. They're stagnant and stagnant waters produce bacteria. Bacteria is not good. So uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the satire, the sarcasm. But uh, first video of 2020. First video of 2020. We're gonna push out some tutorials this week, so just stay tuned. But if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, give this video a like, and until next time, God bless.